Singapore's Navy is tapping two new systems to train submariners and engineers, which they say will make the process safer and more efficient. These are part of the Navy's efforts to update its training methods with new innovations since the acquisition of its first submarines in 1995. Sabrina Ng with a look at what training entails. Easier to operate with an ability to stay underwater longer and a higher capacity for payloads. The new Invincible class submarines have undergone a big upgrade. We have engineered an indigenous combat management system with advanced automation and sense-making capabilities to enhance the situational awareness and decision-making support for our operators. This will enable the Navy to better manoeuvre our submarines in Singapore's congested and shallow waters. But it's not just about building a better submarine. Equally important are efforts to train up crew members to harness the full potential of the vessel which is why the Singapore Navy will be tapping two new training systems for the submariners and ship engineers. This virtual procedural trainer is an exact replica of the submarine, all 12 million parts of it. This means more crew members can receive training anytime on this virtual platform without having to step foot into a submarine. These virtual trainers allow us to, in classroom base, allow us to do the things that we need to do on board the submarines. It can be done now in the classrooms. So it makes our training and qualifying a submariner much better without the need to uh, reduce the standards of the, submarine, of the submariners we develop. But it wasn't always smooth sailing, especially for crew members who served on older classes of submarines. It was a steep learning curve initially for me because I was from the Challenger Archer class submarines. Automation is not something that I was very commonly used to. So what it me was actually integrating with the new submariners, the younger people, we, they allowed together, we learned together and they taught me a lot of ways to adapt and to integrate these uh, new technologies. With my experience and their tech savviness, yeah, we pulled through uh, this training together. There will also be a new maintenance trainer system. It will provide engineers with hands-on experience to learn how to service and maintain equipment on board a submarine. Both systems will be operational by 2028. Sabrina Ng, CNA, Kiel, Germany.